Hi everyone, my name is Gabby and I'm a Magic the Gathering streamer. And if you know something about my stream, it's that I compulsively click on things. I click on cards, I click on the things that you can interact with on the playmat, I click out of the window. I've definitely punted for clicking things too much. Um, pulls that color. <laughs> but that does mean that I've discovered a lot of the Easter eggs in the playmats uh, for Magic the Gathering Arena. So I thought what would be fun today is for me to show you all the Easter eggs and things you can click on the playmats. And uh, this video today is brought to you by Wizards of the Coast and ChannelFireball.com. So thank you both for sponsoring today's video. And without further ado, let's get started. So first we have to give a big shout out to my boy Sparky who had to get paired up against me a million times in order for me to film this video. He defeated me soundly. It was not particularly close. So one of the cool features on Arena are the pets. Uh, the pets come in all different shapes, colors, sizes. There's been a different one for each mastery pass if you choose to buy it. And you can change their colors, you can change, you can click on them to interact. They're really fun. But what some people don't know is that these playmats uh, have other things you can click on. For example, this is the War of the Spark playmat. And if you click on Bulls' statue, you can topple one wing, topple another. And if you keep clicking it, the, the whole statue eventually crumbles. Here in the back, you can actually see uh, some sort of tower. If you click it, it has magic on it as well. Over on the right-hand side, you have the same thing. This is some sort of magical shield. I'm not sure what building that is. And then here at the bottom, um, you can see an Asoria symbol when you click that as well. And then another cute uh, Easter egg is Parhelion number two is actually flying around the map. And if you click it, it'll emit a solar blaze. There's also sparks that are flying around here. It's the Planeswalker sparks. Uh, on this playmat, there's not that much you can interact with. Um, I've, trust me, I've looked. The only thing that you can actually get is this little mushroom here in the left. Um, if you click it enough, it emits some spores and eventually it gets kind of annoyed with you and it just leaves. <laughs> Uh, this over here is the Theros Beyond Death playmat. This one doesn't have that much stuff that's clickable either. You can see the Nyx is heavily featured. If you actually click on the Nyx, it's almost like water. You can interact with it that way. And every once in a while here, I'm going to point out to you in the bottom right corner, you're going to see how there's a little bit of lightning that shows up every once in a while. This is the Guilds of Ravnica playmat, and this one actually has a lot of stuff you can click on. Uh, if you take a look at the top left and right hand corner, there's these gargoyles. They look like they're made out of stone, but when you click them, they actually move. And uh, sometimes birds also perch up here. One, there's going to be one on the right-hand side. When you click on them, they get scared. There's also this tower on the left-hand side. I think it's something RAL or is it related because it's full of lightning when you click it. And then right behind it, there's this Selesnia Guardian that gets that you can awaken by clicking on it as well. This is the Throne of Eldraine playmat. Unfortunately, this one doesn't have that much clickable stuff. Every once in a while, you can see some fairies kind of fly by and that's pretty much it. This is another Throne of Eldraine playmat, and there isn't that much stuff that's clickable in this one either, but there is a very small Easter egg in the top right corner that actually took me a long time to spot. See if you can see it. Did you catch it? I'm going to show it to you again. It's a serpent slash dragon that flies in the top right corner, and it's very, very small. You, can, you have to really be paying attention to see it. Lastly, this is the Ikoria playmat. Uh, this one has my absolute favorite Easter egg out of all the playmats. Um, this one's also really cool. This one is a clickable like rock crystal thing. And if you click it enough, you eventually get to the center of it. And it makes this really beautiful crystal sound once you open it. You used to be able to click on all the crystals, but they have removed the sound of them since then. But this is the one I was talking about. I love it. If you click this lava enough, eventually a lava serpent comes out and it's the lava serpent from from Ikoria. It's the six mana five five. It gets annoyed at you and it just eventually leaves. I hope you all enjoyed all the hidden Easter eggs and random little things that you see in the playmats. I, I personally love them. I look forward to new playmats with new sets and I love clicking on everything. So let me know what was your favorite and thanks again for watching. If you like this video, you can subscribe for more. And if you want to come say hi to us on the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash I stream every weekday in the afternoons, mountain times. See you later.